Chapter 3087 begins with Matriarch Pharrell reflecting on her son's frequent visits to Shiloh's apartment at Celebrity Garden. These visits, often accompanied by gifts, fuel her anger and disappointment. Despite Shiloh being exposed as not her biological daughter, her sons continue to indulge her, further exacerbating Matriarch Pharrell's sense of betrayal. This ongoing situation not only highlights the familial tensions but also highlights Matriarch Pharrell's inability to control the actions of her sons, whom she had hoped would support her unconditionally. Her disdain for Shiloh deepens not just because of the deceit surrounding her identity, but also because of her refusal to leave Jensburg after the truth was revealed. Matriarch Pharrell had been willing to provide for Shiloh's future had she quietly left the city. However, Shiloh's choice to stay and seek revenge against Matriarch Pharrell has turned her from a sympathetic figure into an enemy in the Matriarch's eyes. Matriarch Pharrell's internal dialogue reveals her willingness to take extreme measures, even contemplating Shiloh's demise if it becomes necessary to protect the family's reputation. As she broods over her son's behavior, her thoughts reveal her deep disappointment. Despite the opportunities she provided for them within the Pharrell group and the businesses she helped them establish, her sons have failed to live up to her expectations. She had hoped they would succeed independently, but their ventures outside of family's influence have been consistently unsuccessful. This failure not only reflects poorly on them, but also threatens the family's financial stability in the long run. Her frustration is compounded by the knowledge that without her support, her sons would likely be bankrupt within a few years. Her disappointment extends beyond their professional lives to their personal conduct. Matriarch Pharrell had carefully selected suitable wives for her sons, choosing women from respectable families who were both capable and well-mannered. However, despite these seemingly ideal marriages, her sons have chosen to engage in extramarital affairs, further tarnishing the family's name. This behavior, especially in the context of their continued involvement with Shiloh, whom they now know is not their sister, deeply offends Maitreya Farrell's sense of propriety and control. She suspects that the revelation of Shiloh's true identity has only fueled her son's inappropriate interest in her, leading to their neglect of Catherine, their real sister. As her anger and frustration build, she resorts to smoking, a habit she turns to in moments of stress. The act of lighting cigarette after cigarette symbolizes her internal struggle to maintain her composure and control in the face of mounting familial chaos. Her thoughts reveal a woman who is not only angry, but also deeply saddened by the realization that her sons, whom she had invested so much in, have failed her on multiple levels. After a period of reflection, she decides to take action. She summons her butler and instructs him to call the eldest mistress, Erica, to her study. However, she is informed that Erica is currently occupied, having just dropped her children off at school. 